several years in development, the so-called Nano Hummingbird is a smaller and more maneuverable version of drones now used by the U.S. military in Iraq and Afghanistan. The company that makes it, Aerovironment, develops and tests the drones outside Los Angeles. The drones give observers an eye in the sky and spot objects and track people on the ground. The small bird-like drone has a camera and transmitter. It is operated remotely and flies by moving its wings, says project manager Matthew Kina. It's being manipulated and controlled to allow the forward and backward flight, the rotation, and also the side-to-side -side flight. And all that's happening by just changing the curvature and the shape and different aspects of the wing movement at a very high speed. The tiny drone is still experimental and has gone through several stages of development. The challenge and the funding came from the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, which asked for an airborne vehicle that could mimic something in nature. Project manager Matthew Keenan says the challenge was huge and exciting. Because every time we made an improvement, it got better, we were just um, so amazed. South is good and west is good. While the company is developing some of the world's smallest drones, it is also testing one of the largest. This giant unmanned aircraft, called Global Observer, can hover in the stratosphere, says Aerovironment's Stephen Gitlin. And it's designed to fly for up to seven days at a time at about 65,000 feet altitude and carry a payload that either helps somebody see what they want to see or relays communication from one point to another. The Air Environment Company spokesman says airborne drones also have civilian uses for public safety, security, and search and rescue. And the new Nano Hummingbird will go places that the larger drones cannot. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.